myself professor nikhil bhujbal from gamma sokandra mode college of pharmacy today i am going to deliver the lecture on the topic aerosols included into the third years b pharmacy syllabus for the subject of the industrial pharmacy first what firstly we have to discuss about the different components of the aerosol different systems of the aerosol evolution parameters with related to the aerosols and these aerosols are how these uh, some there are new technical developments into these aerosols that we have to study the, uh, now uh, meeting with the industrial requirement that of the aerosols how these aerosols can be formulated or modified with the uh, relevant data of the industrial rules and regulations as well as the industrial requirements that we need to discuss about these aerosols firstly we will start with the different components of the aerosol before that before moving to the components i will just elaborate the basic structure or the basic diagram of the aerosol different components where these components are present at actually into the aerosol system okay we will start i have just put the drawn the diagram of this aerosol here this is the container of the aerosol this one is the container of the aerosol first at the top of the container presence of the actuator which actuator for function of that actuator is the, to expel out the contents from the container to deliver to the, the uh, particular site of action or to the targeted area targeted zone at that targeted zone we have to deliver the contents that may be the active pharmaceutical ingredient or the therapeutic activity that of that active pharmaceutical ingredient that we need to check uh, and that active pharmaceutical ingredient with their different additives and excipients are coming out of the container by helping or by pressing the actuator actuator should uh, actuator makes the downwards pressure to the contents of the container and contents of the whole aerosol systems next component of this aerosol system is the propeller very heart we can say the heart of the pro aerosol system is the propellant because the propellant is present in the liquefied gas propellant as well as the liquefied propellant as well as the gaseous propellant this liquefied and gaseous propellant are present into the aerosol system and which upon actuation are produced or delivered to the targeted area on to the human beings or the where that particular drug has to be there after the therapeutic action this uh, afterwards this propellant the third component of this aerosol system is the wall wall is regulating the amount of the drug to be expelled out from the from the container also it actually it activating the uh, whole the contents from the container to expel out from the container then fourth component of this aerosol system is the whole the container the container can be uh, the whole diagram is known as a, or whole system is known as a container or aerosol container the container are made, made up of different substances like metals aluminum glass plastics depending on the availability or the therapeutic drug to be incorporated into that aerosol the manufacturing or the substances to be made with these containers are getting changed and depending on the therapeutic action we can change the uh, substances to be used into the manufacturing of these containers so that is about the fourth proper uh, fourth component of this aerosol system okay we will see how much or which aerosol containers are used into the uh, aerosol system for the getting the therapeutic relief, uh, therapeutic relief from the drug is which is incorporated into the aerosol system you will see one one by one that is first one is the that containers are divided into two two types based on the material from which it is made up of first part is the metals second part is the glass so metals are metals are made up of the tin that can be made up of the tin plated steel aluminum and stainless steel these three types of the metals can be used for the manufacturing of the container that tin plated steel containers are generally used for the uh, metal dose inhalers uh, and the uh, particularly the drugs which can give the uh, pain killing or pain relieving action for that purpose this 
clean plated steel uh, or aluminium containers are getting used. Next one is the stainless steel. For the stainless steel, it is not rarely used as the stainless steel is not economical in the, as compared to the other two aluminium and stainless uh, tin plated steel material. Aluminium stainless steel material getting very costly and it is expensive. But sometimes uh, drugs can be manufactured or drugs has to be stored into the stainless steel material. For that purpose, the stainless steel material can be used as the container for the aerosol system. Second one is the glass. Glass, there are different uh, many advantages of the glass over these metal substances because the glass cap is inert with all the compounds or all the uh, drugs and excipients. So the glass can be used as the container material for the aerosol system. Glass, there are two types of glass that can be used. That is uncoated glass and plastic coated glass. This type of the glass can be used for the so container substance as a container substances glass there is a one big disadvantage with the glass that that is a glass is a fragile it can be broken with the when your, the transportation of the store containers are made from the one place to another or from the manufacturer to the distributor or retailer or directly to the customer at that time of transportation the glass can be broken so the basic disadvantage of glass is that it is fragile in nature two types of glass are used uncoated glass plastic coated glass and the uncoated glass different uh, NSAID non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs can be incorporated for the purpose of the aerosol system for the production of the or my developed modified into the aerosol system so for that purpose uncoated glass which can be used and for the plastic coated glass some cosmetic perfume or the body deodorant that can be manufactured or that can be stored into this uh, or formulated with the help of these plastic coated glass containers. So that is about these containers, the different components of the aerosols, propellants. Propellants are the heart of the aerosol as these propellant are responsible for because aerosol basic definition of the aerosol is the uh, medicinal or pharmaceutical substances which upon the actuation or which upon the which are stored under the pressurized system which upon actuation emits out their contents from the actuator actuator containing the small orifice that is having some small pore size from which we will get the medicament into the droplet format or into the foam based system depending on the system used in the aerosol that may be the in dry powder we will get the substances or in the solid uh, sorry in the liquid droplets we will get the substances as well as the foam based into the into in the form of the foam that is the new development in recent uh, the recent development under this aerosol that we will get the different uh, foam based system products also in generally the shaving foams are manufactured in this aerosol system which are easily easy to store and that are very good uh, having good market and that has been uh, that also acquired the good market in recent days so that can be also placed into the uh, by you can manufacture by using this foam based system there are different system which can be used for the manufacturing of these aerosols aerosol system that are different system for which uh, the aerosols are manufactured that are the solution system water based system uh, and suspension or dispersion system and fourth one is the foam system where this solution system is containing the properly solution in which the droplet will get uh, particular drug is dissolved in the same vehicle and it will form the solution and that solution based system is known as the, or that solution based or that solution will be used as the further vehicle or the uh, be, that will be the, uh, your medicament in is dissolved into the uh, properly aqueous or oily vehicle and that will be used as the vehicle into that particular aerosol system next one is the water based system that water based system they are containing the water as the vehicle because large number of drugs or medicaments are dissolved into the water as the water is a universal solvent all the drugs most of the drugs and medicaments are dissolved as well as the excipient or additives which are going to be used as a preservative or different actions or antimicrobial action or antioxidant purpose that are also mostly are soluble into the water so water based system can be used for the uh, manufacturing of aerosol. Next one is the suspension or dispersion system. In suspension or dispersion system, the drugs which are not soluble into the water as well as not soluble into the organic solvent, 
that are class 4 that can be modified or formulated through the suspension that can be dispersed or the particles are suspended into the uh, properly vehicle with the help of suspending agent, different suspending agents like trigatan, agar, cellulose derivatives, microcrystalline cellulose, hyper, uh, sorry, HPMC derivatives. Likewise, different suspending agent present in the, by using or by getting help of this suspending agent, you can manufacture the or uh, primary suspension is prepared and the base of the suspension is used as the uh, in used in the aerosol system. And that we will get the in dry powder of uh, the droplets or the uh, particular suspension based system, dispersed based system. From that system, the contents of the active ingredient is expelled out from the container in the dry powder format. So that is the basic behind this suspension based system. Next one is the foam based system, which is some uh, different foam based systems are used for, for that. Different foams are getting used. There is aqueous stable foam, non aqueous stable foam, quick breaking foams, thermal foams. These four types of the foams are used for the foam based system where we can get the uh, uh, contents from the container into the foam based system. For that, aqueous stable foams means the base or the drugs which are stable when formulated into the forms which are stable at the aqueous system that are formulated into the aqueous stable forms or the base which are not suitable for the non aqueous suitable, aqueous stable forms are then formulated with the non aqueous stable forms different non aqueous stable forms can be used or different non uh, organic solvent that can be used for these non aqueous stable forms third one is the peak breaking forms these forms getting break uh, after the expelling out from the container these are getting break uh, into the different parts that are known as the quick breaking forms or the after expelling from the container these uh, forms are adding low stability so these are known as the quick breaking stroke uh, quick, quick breaking forms fourth one is the thermal forms the thermal forms are the nothing but the heat resistant substances that can be used in the uh, aerosol system and that can be manufactured by using a modified with the thermal forms we can uh, add, it, add, it, add that drug into the thermal forms and we can uh, administer that drug through this aerosol system by using or forming the foam based for this aerosol system these are the different systems used into the aerosol system like solution system, water based system, suspension or dispersion system, foam based system and different sub types of this foam based system apart from this, this are the basic introduction of this aerosol next one is the evolution parameter of this aerosol that are the different evolution parameters which are the evolution properties are you uh, these are meeting with the quality control strengths or quality assurance or quality uh, whether these aerosol that are manufactured meet the quality requirements for the industry so different evolution parameters are also uh, you have to perform the evolution test for these aerosols these are again the like the uh, particularly volume test, net content test, then uh, melting point test, then flammability and combustibility test, flame extension test. These are the different uh, or biological toxicity test. These are also performed for these aerosols. These are the general evolution test performed for these aerosols. So we will see one by one what are the different evolution tests performed for these aerosols. Okay, here we will uh, stop with this uh, aerosol system. This was the basic introduction. We will continue with the uh, different evolution parameter or evolution test to be performed for the aerosols. If there are any doubts, you can mail me at uh, the given mail ID. I am providing my mail ID. That is. can ask into the group, WhatsApp group which are created for each subject you can ask the any doubts or even post your queries suggestions comments to this my mail id okay i am waiting for your good responses thank you thank you so much